Okay, so I've quickly set this up. I wonder where all my connector blocks are going. So uh, <laughs> I keep leaving them on things. Right, so then we want to go back to the amps then on this. Come here. I just want to see if this power supply is capable of delivering the same as what the other one was. Uh, about 140 watts, wasn't it? So that's connected there still. All I'm going to do is connect to here. Uh, ah, well, that's interesting. So if you look over there, it's the same load 0.9. Okay, that is interesting. So there's no reason why these wires, not that they'll be able to withstand it for very long, but no reason why they shouldn't be able to withstand that. So, that other power supply was delivering 3.5 amp, uh, well, 3.4 something amps, wasn't it? And this one, clearly, is not. And it has, you know, all the wires pretty much connected to the shuttle, all the 12 volts together. And three of the um, earths, grounds, probably should say really, grounds on this. Um, three of those, so that should be plenty enough to deliver that power. So I, I thought that this supply was faulty. I couldn't remember where I got it from, you see, so chances are it's not the one that I've bought, it's one that's come with a repair. And, and um, that's alright, I'll have the wires off this, I need wire. <laughs> Oh blimey, surprised how much wire you get through playing on this stuff. So right, let me just get the other power supply and set that up as well, we'll see what that one does. I said it would be a quick swap over job, didn't I? There it is. So all I've got to do is literally connect to that. Um, there, this is just the power switch. Uh, sorry, the power LED, that's the switch, it's continuously on. Didn't even take that out of the back of this. So let me just wire that up. Okay. Uh, Provisionally ready to go, so let's get this back to current setting. I keep turning off to save the battery. Um, so that's connected there. So if I flip this on, we've got our LED there, we've got the fan sound. Right, so we want to get that to be in a better place, but I just don't want it to be touching anything else. I don't want it to. Okay. That's only an amp. That's that's only an amp. So, well, that goes to show me then that really these two supplies are not providing the power. Because that's one amp, that's 40 watts. Okay, so this is on 40 volts still, I've not changed anything. Um, I'll show you. I know you probably don't want me to show you because there's. I'm not lying, I mean, there's a freaking point in lying about it. Uh, but, but I'll just show you that uh, it made my life a lot easier than if I just left that one on. But, and then I touched that on there. Oh! Why did that do that? That's the right way around. Oh, it's because I've still got it connected into my amps here. That's not very good. But that's not doing my, uh, my internals any good on this little tiny. Supply it'd be interesting. Uh, this might be interesting if it actually survives that. We'll try on amps in a minute. <laughs> so, ah, uh, that's in the 20 range, that's not going to work. Well, at least it was trying to read it. Okay, 40, 40 volts look still the same. So, on the other one, it was doing three and a half amps at 40 volts on that Xbox power supply. But on these ATX ones, it's not even well, the other one was doing less than an amp, wasn't it? About 0 0.7, something like that, if I remember. This one's doing an amp, sort of 40 watts. Um, so, so far, it's the Xbox one that's worked out to be the better one. Um, yeah, let's just go back and check the amps on this and see if that still works. Didn't hear a fuse pop. Oh, I don't think it has got a fuse, actually. <laughs> it's one of them. Oh, no. Do it wrong and die. So what we want to see now is uh, we're missing we're missing a connection right so we want that over here 
Okay, so let's just, uh, and it's still reading, good. But that's at 40 volts. Uh, 40 volts, 1 amp. And that's that's all this thing's pulling out. It's supposed to be an ATX 500 watt. But I don't expect 500 watt out of the 12 volt rail, but it says 22 amps at 12 volts, so I do expect uh, um, a couple of hundred watts. Oh, well, that was more interesting than trying to do the do this because I got to learn more by doing that, and that's the whole thing with me with this. It's not all a case of oh, let's you know have a great success in a particular project. It's about what what can I learn, and what I've learned uh, with the videos that I've put up these last few videos is one. I still don't know whether that's performing the way it should do, but I do know that using these power supplies they're not giving out enough power because just demonstrating it with that against the the um, Xbox power supply you get three times the amount of power out of the Xbox power supply so I know that's good so maybe uh, I will have to try that onto here with this 10 ohm load and we'll see how that how that does, I'll come back with that. Okay, so um, I've connected the Xbox power supply into the back of this boost converter, and I'm not even coming out of this into this just yet. Let's just forget about it. Let's just see if we can get this thing to um, play with a bit more wattage. So at the minute we're on 12.2 volts, and if I want to, that's still set up for amps, and if I were just there. Uh, make that circuit there, we're pulling just over an amp and that does drop down to 11.8 but look it's just over an amp there oh yeah of course I don't actually need this set up now do I? I've got it there Duh. right ok I'll save my battery oh ah, just for the hell of it, go on let's have it on just for the hell of it right so let's turn this up a little bit so let's put it on to 20 volts first Oh, who cares? So I guess straight to the 40 volts. What we want to see is like about three and a half amps, don't we? The same as what we had on the other one. Um, yeah, let's just see if it does it. Right, okay. Let's see, I'm going to put my. Try to get it so you get everything in the picture. Two, two amps pulls it down to 22 volts. Huh. Um, before on 40 volts we had three and a half amps on, on this other one, on this other booster. So okay, so I'm gonna turn the voltage down because so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna turn it down to something I'm gonna turn it as low as it'll go, right? Because what I wanna do now is I wanna see if I can adjust the adjust thing on there and see if that makes any difference. I don't expect it to because again it's not even <laughs> connected to the board. But let's see anyway. So we got one amp. Right, this thing's going to start smouldering soon, so let's get into this quickly. Okay, so that's clicking one way. I'll try and adjust it the other way. It's a ten turn part. Yep, absolutely no difference whatsoever, and I didn't expect it to because, like I said, it's not even connected. But interestingly enough, in this configuration. With this boost converter, I'm only getting not well. It's a little bit more than half the power, isn't it? Sorry for being really shaky. There's a little bit more than uh, half the power because it's, again, well, if we just take it up to 20 volts this time and hit that there, oh. we got 1.8 volt, 1.8 amps. Drops down to 19.2. Okay, and it sort of says 1.78, and it's all oh, starting to smoke, yeah, nice and warm. Uh, hmm. Okay, not got as much noise coming off this, so we go up to 40 again. All right, and let's just just chuck this across here quick. So 1.8. Then it pulls it down to 20. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
Right, I need to have a little look and see what I've done wrong here. I've got to have done something wrong, haven't I? I've got to have. No, I just have to disconnect that because uh, I don't want it still powering up the back of this. Just while I decide to. So, what about that? Could it be something to do with this switch? Because it has to go through the switch, the power, and then it comes here, and then it goes out and through the the meter uh, to here. So where am I going wrong? It's maybe I've got to take that boost converter out and put the other one in there and just wire that into place and see what happens. Yeah, put that one in because I know that one, even though it was making the noise, it was putting out the power. So I'll get to see, oh bloody hell, we've got things like this connected haven't I, to my voltage controller here. But I wanted to be able to use it all exactly the same, you know, just have all these wires, just disconnect them, put the other one straight in here, connect it all back up again, and use it like that to see if that will work. I suppose I could, but I'll just have to put this just on the other side of here and leave that wire disconnected. Because we know that one's still set up 40 volts anyway. Hmm. Okay, so, oh, let me get that back apart, my. Um, I've connected this up. I'll just shove that up like that, sorry. Oh, I don't know what's going on today. I've been eating all my spinach and everything, and I still can't seem to get my brain to work properly. Right, so what I did, look, I just cut this, um, I disconnected these, I put some tape around, because apart from that one there, they've all got doubles going in. So I did put some tape around them, because it just makes it easier, because I know they're together. Um, and that's it, so I can't do the volume control, because that's on this one. Uh, the voltage control adjustment that's on that one but what I can do have I made this thing zoom in or something no um, but we know it's still adjusted for 40 volts okay and that's all this test is about is just to see if this setup like the way it is is okay pulling that power through because remember it was working before so, where's my little 10 ohm load? I've lost it. I didn't eat it, did I? I was trying to eat my banana. Well, oh, um, right, I'll just come back when I found that. Okay, duh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> okay, right, so we're still going through that, um, through this. Not that we need it, it's just for a bit of a second opinion, I suppose. And I've got to plug in the power supply, I've not done that yet. And then this is just going to be hitting on here, isn't it? And did we get that with the angle? Yeah, good. Okay, right, let's plug this thing in. Okay, so we've got power in. 40 volts, look as you can see. Now we're looking for more than 2 amps, that's what we want. Right, you ready? So, so we can get both into the shop. 1.2. Huh? So it's something to do with my setup here then because 1.3 volts, pulling it down to 20. But not in this, I, uh, I get a lot more power. Hmm. Okay, oh, okay. Well, I've learnt something. And that's that I've done something wrong. Or that I'm being heavily restricted by something. Uh, 
Okay, well I wanted to find out whether it was going to do that or not, and I've managed to find out uh, that it's going to do that. So, interesting. And uh, just while, while I'm making, while I'm editing the video, and putting it together, whatever, so it's all like loads of different bits, and of course I lost the load when the camera went stupid on me again. Um, but it wouldn't be fair, really, to sort of like say, well, it's down to this setup, the wiring, the switch, stuff like that. If I didn't test this one now, I've got it out, because I can still turn the volume up here, but I've put it up to 40 volts, and, um, <clears throat> and we can see if this one will actually give out, you know, a decent amount of power. What's that wire doing? I don't even know why I'm fiddling with it right now. I wasn't even looking through the camera screen to see if you could see. But, right, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up now, and just do a quick one on this to add to the end of the video. Ah, uh, okay, so look, we've got 39 and a half volts, right? I was an idiot, I was trying to turn, I was turning the pot on there. <laughs> and then I realised I've got to turn it there. I've still got it wired inside there, I'm not. I'm an idiot. Uh, never mind, so, right, so I'm going to set it up now for amps. And I'll tell you what was good, was um, it was still setting amps, I tried to make a voltage check, so I got a little spark. Uh, the unit went out, but I think, I think it was my, um, Xbox power supply, which tripped out before anything happened. I can't remember if these things got short circuit, short circuit protection on. I think they have on the output, but, but I'm not sure what the input's like. I can't remember. Anyway, never mind. Uh, so we got 39.5 volts. Okay, right. So it's now set for amps, and we're looking for quite a bit. 1.6. So that's still not doing it very good. Huh. I need to check my dinner. No, well, I don't mean to sit here and keep sort of being all burring or but that's sort of suggesting. Probably want to keep it away from there as well, but I'm trying to get it so you can see. I'm touching this down on here. Not getting nowhere near that spark like off the other one, like off the one that's in there now. 1.6 amps at 40 volts. So 1.6. Sort of 60 watts, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know what's going on. And it's not going to make any difference if I adjust the the uh, current adjust. Like I say, it's not even connected uh, to the circuit. Or well, let's just give it a go anyway. This. What's the worst that can happen? We've got 1.6 amps. I'll just twiddle it away. Oh, my neddy, that's going on. That is going on. I need to take that off. I think there's a little bit of adjustment there. Now, I have just noticed that this board doesn't have the writing down here. That's what there's on this board. Everything else pretty much looks the same apart from a bit of the bit of this. But there is some current that just there, I just wanted to that resistor to cool down a bit. Uh, before I do that I'm going to put a different load on it actually. Uh, so that's going to be a bit easier on it and just see if we get any more current adjustment. Okay I'll put this, uh, put it on the honey frame across the two reds. Going to go for the current adjust again. Just That's all the way down. I'd already, oh, I'd already taken it all the way up. There was a little bit of adjustment there. Let me, that's it. Mm. 
Hmm. So there is no current adjustment. But that was a bit strange because on the other load it did sort of show a little bit of adjustment, didn't it? Hmm. I'm pretty damn sure that I did take them both apart. And I did realize, yeah, 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 because that one I've resold. It. Even though I cut it out the top. I know I took it apart because I did try doing it from underneath to start off with. Um, and these are not actually connected. They go through and they get soldered, but the there's no tracks go off and go anywhere. And you can see the ones on the voltage control they do, but on the current control they don't. Anyway, so that was interesting. Just wanted to see if that one worked as well as that one did. Out of out of here. And this one was much much better. I can't even remember what it was now, it's on the video, it was about three and a half amps, wasn't it? Forty volts. Hmm. The plot thickens. Okay, so it's not quite bedtime yet, and what I've done is uh, I've taken. Well, this is the one that was in there. This is the one that I tested, and it allowed more power through. So what I've done is I've just I've got again the Xbox power supply. That's the input here. The output is going directly to here. No switches, no meters, no nothing. Directly to here. I'll put the 10 ohm load back on. Move on. Now you can see that. 39 volts. Yeah. Um, I've, got f I've got 50 volts going into it. I've got 40 volts now. Remember when we did it before. It was uh, about three and a half amps, wasn't it? Three point four eight amps at forty volts on the output. Let's have a little look what we do now. Three eight eight, hundred and forty eight watts, and lots of smoke. So that's better. That's better. That that's that's what I expect to see. So between well, this boost booster not working as well as this booster and then in amongst all this wires and managed to lose quite a bit of power okay so well at least I know that works like that so tomorrow we'll get the coil out again and we'll see if this power supply survives it <laughs> Be interesting, interesting to see. But we've definitely got some extra power there, and you get to see the smoke. Okay, all right. I'll take a look again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.